welcome. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Thank you for asking us to come. They smile at each other, but in a half-hearted way. <laughs> I mean, his smile looks really big, and ours just looks like we're not even trying. Won't you take a seat? No, thank you. Dominic's false smile almost slipped off his face completely. He hadn't even looked at me once. So I guess I shouldn't sit, follow along, do as Bew does. Very well, we're to get straight to business, are we? I prefer things that way. I think Bew's gonna turn us down. Dominic pulled out a CD from under some paperwork. It was our demo CD, I could recognize it immediately. I was told that I had to listen to this new band, an interesting sound, she said. Even more interesting musicians. He clicked the case open a few times, not breaking eye contact with Bew. The tension was starting to th get thick. Bew said nothing in return, so Dominic was forced to move on. Long story short, we're willing to fund your albums. Excellent. For the first time, the guy looked over to me, evaluated me briefly, and then back over to Bew. He smirked. The hell was that for? Oh, come on, like you don't know, we're supposedly dating. So you accept my offer? No offer has been made for us to accept yet. Ah, yes. I'll get in touch with your lawyers to draw up a contract, if you could so kindly provide us. Bew swiftly pulled out a seat from conference table and sat down. No need, I'm quite willing to negotiate myself. Dominic's smile widened. You are your mother's son. What else do you think was going to... Oh, whatever. Bew had taken out his glasses, a pad of paper, and a fancy pen from his briefcase. A pad of paper? Fucking laptops exist, you... Ugh, whatever. I guess we're old-fashioned, aren't we? <laughs> we fucking have a grand piano, after all. I should hope so. I handled the back of a chair, unsure if I was supposed to sit or not. Did I really want to sit on, on a boring contract meeting? Very well, let's discuss terms, Robin. Damn it, don't tell me what to do. I was going to figure it out on my own anyway, eventually. Uh, well, <laughs> I know about that. I meekly sat down beside him. As much as I wanted to belong, I was sorely out of place. This was not my world. This is why he said I shouldn't have come along. Dominic called for his secretary. Paperwork was drawn. Numbers were thrown around. And my head got dizzy from how fast they were talking. The two men were matched in terms of negotiation. Though I was rooting for you, of course. Go team! Sure, go squad! <sighs> I thought I had something massive and red on my hand there, Jesus. Every so often, Bew looked over to me, asking for approval. I wish I even knew what I was agreeing to, but I completely trusted him. That sort of surprised me, considering I've been on the other side of his shoot-to-kill business tactics when I graffitied his hotel. Bew didn't seem to like this guy, so I knew he was at least on my side this time, because I was starting not to like him either. I don't know, it's just the way the man talked. He was so harmless looking, but the way he spoke had such a threat and intent to it. Yeah, that's so he gets favourable, you know, conditions. I'm not saying that's a good thing, I'm just saying that's what's happening. With a slap on the table, Bew stood up abruptly. He slipped out a business card from his breast pocket. Bleh. That's all we have to do here, you may contact me later with the details. He held out his card to Dominic, he slowly took it from him, no smirk anywhere in sight. Pleasure doing business with you, Beauregard. I stuffed my chair back into the table too loudly, disrupting the glare fest. Bew nodded, turned around and waved me to the door. Shall we? Well, I... <laughs> I'm glad I could help, guys! <sighs> uh, right, yes. We left the conference room and the air suddenly felt lighter. Wow, there really was a strange atmosphere in there. Um, Bew, can you explain to me what just happened in plain English? He slowed his brisk walk so that I could manage to keep up with him. He has agreed to a record deal we produce exclusively for them. They fund our operation, market us, everything you could possibly want. And? And the catches are just as you would expect. They reserve the right to reject our albums, veto any creative decisions, they own most of those decisions in the first place, and they take an exorbitant cut of the profits. He pulled I pulled on his arms and we came to a halt. His wrinkled brow showed how tense he was. I don't like any of that. I mean... What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> We're actually going to run out of my green day, aren't we? <sighs> Alcoholic answers? No, that we're going to have to make an answer for that. Like, like you know, something more child-friendly. and like Lost Road or something. We, it has to be covered in metaphors, but so stupid people can understand it. He seemed to unwind. Not that all Green Day fans are stupid. Disclaimer. <laughs> he was pretty worked up, but at least he was good at what he did. I know. But this is how business works, and it's the best thing for the band right now. You do want to outshine your old band, yes? Wasn't that the goal? Well, yeah, but... I shook my head. Yeah. You needn't worry, I'm as much a part of this band as you are. I'm not sell us short. 
I bit the inside of my cheek, then tapped my fist onto his shoulder playfully. Damn right, Ponytail, that's why I like you. He smiled for me in return. It was a pleasant thing to see after such a boring, straight-faced meeting. I knew he wouldn't sell us out just to show off for his mummy, but I couldn't follow anything that was going on in that room. One thing was for sure, Dominic Wolf wasn't happy at the end of it, and that made me happy for some reason. <laughs> He's just trying to do his job, to be fair to the poor sod. <sighs> Alright, whatever. As we were walking out of the building, we walked past a long wall with all of their signed artists on display. We were going to be on that wall soon. It's, we're going to see Sterling walking out of here, aren't we? I admired the famous names, knowing that Clap or We Smite You was soon going to be one of them. That is, until I hit the poster of, until, of Shocker Millennium. My heart caved in on itself from the suddenness of seeing the whole gang happy and posing for the camera. I was supposed to be in that shot. Instead, they told me to get lost. I wasn't what society needed. Maybe about a point. But here I was, clawing and digging my way to the top. That's right, I was going to be on that wall too. But I did it without you. A hand on my shoulder shook me out of my thoughts. You looked down at me with soft eyes. I imagine he knows what's going on. He's not dumb. Just a little while longer. We've almost won. His hand moved to my back, urging me to walk again, but I m and I mindlessly did so. We almost won, did he say? Him and Sophia and Dominic. I wasn't the only one with something on the line here. It wasn't just about me. We. The word filled up the void that Sterling had created. It was a weird feeling, starting to find the pieces of myself I'd lost, but I welcomed it with open arms. Oh, we have joined them. I thought we were going to reject them. I don't know why. Uh, creative indie, grr, creative integrity and so on. Right. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Uh, let me change the camera. <laughs> because, you know, otherwise you won't be able to see it all. When we were back with the other guys, Bew revealed that the contract deal was more probationary than he told me at first. If we couldn't make money for the label in a certain amount of time, they were going to drop us. And he fit, but Bew said... He knew I would have, so he didn't tell me while we were there. I don't feel he trusts us. But I settled after a few choice curse words because of course we were going to make money. We were going to make a lot of it. All we needed was a way to prove it. Making our first album under launch would be the perfect debut for us. We were a damn good band. Time to prove that to Wolf, to that wolf man just how good. Okie dokie, I can do that. The real tour has been added to the shop. You can now move out of Tracy's bar. I'm not sure I want to do that. How much does that cost? Oh my god. Now when we click on band info, we just get his smug... Every time I hover over his face, he smiles. That is terrifying. I feel terrified and like I want to sleep with him, both at the same time. Uh, public opinion. They got signed! Sniff, sniff, sniff. Prick. Uh, launch distribution. Why would Robin sell out to those monsters? Well, there's always one, isn't there? Is it true? They're going to do a few album. Seven? How much do you think I'm going to take the piss? Seven songs and an album? They better be fucking Mike Oldfield sort of length if you're going to do that. Popularity, well, it's more than it was before, I guess. We still don't have anything in the top five. Um, This is how much money we made from it. Yeah, the prices hadn't gone up. I didn't think they would have either. Um, So we want to release an album, which means we need a lot of writing at a very high quality done. But they pay for it, so the fuck do we care? Band meeting! Dominic Wolf. How do you know Dominic? I mean, it really seems you guys have a history. Oh, you reckon, do you? Not particularly, we are only very similar. Is he also from a rich under... Well, he's hardly underperforming, is he? But you were trying to set him on fire with your eyes. Do you know him from school or nothing of the sort? Our only connection is that with my ex fiance Is she now his fiance? I sort of get the feeling there. All that glaring over a girl? Why are you so territorial? Yuck. 
It's more complicated than that. Am I too stupid to understand? No, my relationship with Mr. Wolf has been mostly non-verbal. It's as difficult for me to explain as it would be for you to understand. Don't insult my intelligence, even if it's completely justified. Does that make everything clear now? No! Just a bunch of glaring matches, then. If you want to simplify it like that, sure. I earn a lot of enemies in my position. Most of it is mindless jealousy. That's really all there is to it. I can kick him in the nads for you. I'm not afraid to. I think we'd rather have him as our agent, but okay. He cringed with a smile. That's very unladylike. Oh, fuck are you. It's 2016. That wasn't a no. We need him for now. Look at that smug smile on his face. Oh, look at our like bar with him. It's so high. Oh, it's fucking through the roof is what that is. Right. Let's go back. Uh, is there anything I can talk to you about which is interesting? No. Nah, I don't really want to talk to you. I guess we manage the band and write some more fucking songs. You're on it. Oh, God. We need to give you stuff, so I just don't mean... Shop. Still hasn't changed. I don't think I want that. It's like a thousand dollars, right? Is this every time? It is, right? Actually, I think this is worth it. Will decrease the amount of stress everyone earns. Oh, okay. So that's definitely worth it. $5,000 is, like, fucking ridiculous. We can't pay that. We can do that in one gig, but that is... No. YOLO! Let's do this! Hell yeah! Oh, baby, we just moved the fuck out! I'd been trying to sleep for hours, but the sounds of my new house kept me awake. Oh god, are there rats already? Creaking, tumbling, I swear I heard someone walking around. I was sure I owned a flashlight. A, a flashlight? It's fucking daylight. Finding one while cloaked under a blanket in pitch dark was hard, though. I slipped off the bed and ran my hands in my piles of crap until I found my cell phone. It glowed, but not nearly as much as it would have to be to make me let go of my covers. Every bone in my body wanted to run back to my bed, not only because I was scared, but because I had barely got any sleep since I had moved in. This was supposed to be a new enterprising move. This doesn't seem like it's at all. This just seems like we fucked up something fierce by moving. Damn it. I froze when I heard another sound. More damn creaking. Just, just like a footstep. No one believes me when I say I, I hear footsteps. Slowly, I crept from my bedroom to my bedroom doorway, feeling around for the light switch. I've lied awake too many nights. Time to be brave. When I found the switch, I flipped it, only to realize that I'd forgotten to put in a new bulb. Like I'd forgotten to change everything. Every night since I got here. To be fair, light switch there. That hasn't worked for like two years. I, I just don't use light now at night. <laughs> I just sit here in the dark with computer monitor screens to lighten me. I can understand the feeling. I'm not responsible yet. You're not afraid of ghosts. I shouldn't have said that word out loud. It wasn't ghosts. Ghosts weren't real. Right? No, no, no. Right. No, they're not. Ghosts should be afraid of me. I followed you up until there. I listened to the silence. My skin crawled. I'm a professional ghost puncher. I punch ghosts right in their white floaty ass faces. Is someone actually trying to rob us? The fucking rose. A tumbling louder than anything I heard before sounded in the vents above me, immediately nailing me to the wall as all my breath escaped my body. Screw that shit. I ran out of my bedroom, put on my shoes and got the hell out of here, but I didn't scream. That wasn't my style. Nope. I shivered outside of Tracy's bar. I forgot my jacket in the rush, but the loft was way more home than the place I just moved into. Even if the smell was off and the bar was loud, at least it wasn't haunted. The sun was going to rise soon, so the bar was closed, but I still had my keys, so I helped myself inside. In retrospect, they probably should have taken those back from me. Yep, they, they should have. Owen is probably not a happy bunny at the moment. But I was too tired to laugh about it. I wandered upstairs and crashed through the familiar room. I instantly felt at ease, and I was magnetically drawn to the shabby excuse for a bed across the room. Before my cheek could even hit the tattered mattress, something on the bed moved. I punched it. What else? Son of a gun! I didn't expect it to scream, but I was already flying backwards onto the floor. I guess I screamed too, since there was a witness and all. Who? 
Have they, did they get into an argument? Well, this is the last time we get to use our keys. When I let my brain finally work again, I knew I already recognized who it was. Robin, what the blast are you doing here? Me? Why are you here? I got more right to be here than you, Missy. I looked at my hands and held up my keys. I still have my keys, and that's like saying I could come back any time, isn't it? I didn't actually think you'd come back. I mean, rubbed his shoulder in pain. Oh, sweet mercy. Swinging punches, no less. I'm a, I'm a ghost puncher. Does he look like a fucking ghost to you? Does he got Casper emblazoned across his forehead? <sighs> he stopped massaging his sport, sore spot and tried to get a better look at me in the darkness. I was just starting to see more of the silhouette of him, too. That's why you're here? I shuffled on the floor to stand up. Don't know what you're talking about. You watch a scary movie? No, I'm not a kid anymore, jeez. I tried to turn to leave, but he reached out and grabbed my hand. I'm no ghost. I can see that dummy. You haven't said why you're here yet. He let go of me and looked away, sitting up in the bed. Trace and me had an argument. Just a small one, see? He tried to spit it out before I could react. Tracy really kicked him out? That doesn't sound like a small fight. Well, you know, married couples, they do get angry. Your house doesn't have a couch? He gave me a sweet smile, but something told me he was far from reality. I just decided to stay after my shift is all. She needs her space sometimes. It's all well and good in the morning. Don't worry about it, all right? He could tell I was unconvinced. Owen scooted off the bed before I could think of something to say to him. Take the bed and get some Zs. Zs? Zeds? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I can rough it. I'm, I'm choosing to say Zeds. Whoa, slow down. I'm not taking your bed from you. Oh, this is our true romantic bonding moment. How lovely. It's not right for a man to let a girl sleep on the floor. Oh, please. You were here first. I'm not fixing to ar I'm not fixing to argue this with you. Then don't. I'll leave, okay? No, 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 no. You're tired. I'm not blind, so just take the bed and hush. I won't leave unless you leave. I shifted my weight from one foot to the other. Go home, Owen. I waited for his reply. I suspected he couldn't, and I desperately wanted to know why. But I was also falling asleep where I stood. How about we just both sleep on the floor? That seems like a good idea. We were silent for a bit. This stupid argument was going nowhere. Whatever. I grabbed the pillow off the mattress and let it drop at my feet. Bed floor didn't matter to me anymore. They were both ghost free. Just like we were camping or something, Owen spread a blanket on the floor. After sanctioning off our own individual spaces, I gave the ratty mattress a look of longing before plopping down onto the hardwood floor. It was as comfortable as to be hoped, I thought, twice about just taking Owen's niceness for granted. Maybe after he's asleep. Nah, nah, I meant it. I didn't want to kick him out of bed just because. Because of what? Ghosts? God, I was such a dumbass. They seemed as real as anything back at my place, but laying here with Owen, it was just so ridiculous. This isn't the first time this is going to come up, I assure you. I watched him try to get comfortable, but I knew I it was a losing battle. I guess I could be lying to anyone and feel safe again, but then... Hey. Hmm? He looked over at me. The blanket wasn't big enough to be a luxurious sp with space between us. Deja vu. He smiled at me, then closed his eyes. Flashback. This looks... We're having a dumb dream, I get it. The security guard on the screen was suddenly dead, blood everywhere. The killer was loose in the house, they didn't know. Oh my god, he was going to the bathroom, but she was showering in there. She has to run or he'll kill her. Run, girl, run! What is this fucking Alfred Hitchcock film? Robin? Ah! Owen turned on the lights, he startled me. He caught me hiding under the blankets like a kid. Okay, no, it is a flashback. Why are you watching this when it scares you? Scares me? Scares me? He laughed and tugged the blanket off my head. You ain't getting any sleep tonight. You're so like cranky when you're sleepy. I put the blanket back on my head. Go! Oh my god! The girl in the shower was dead. Very blood. So blood. Blood. Good. I. That sounds like we're going to fucking pass out. Owen turned off the TV and pulled me off the couch and up to the stairs. Something was behind me, wasn't there? I ran faster! I ran from my bed and curled up in a ball safely under the covers. The killer could be anywhere. You... Okay? Good to sleep? I knew it was just a movie, but there were real axe murderers out there. Real psychos. Robin? No. Told you. Shut up! Owen got comfortable on the floor by my bed. I'll watch out for the bad guys, okay? I nodded. It did feel better with him there. Why is the music so eerie when this is supposed to be a lovely calming moment? Thanks. I don't feel safe. Great, so our new place is shit, is what it's trying to tell us. Um, right, so all that in one day. We need... We can't buy anything from here, right? No, because it's just those things. Uh, so that means we need to... No, ban meeting. 
they're, they're, those two are the ones who are really stressed. You can live for now. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the one for him. I wasn't sure. I've heard this is a marvelous book. Do you read often? Also, that just went up. You know, I'll just put that there whilst whilst we're speaking to him. Okay. Uh, now I'm not going to pretend I haven't read this book and I have no intention to. Oh, I got it for you because you're a brainiac. <laughs> got him a novel because he's a bra whatever. Well, that is thoughtful. If I had to choose, I prefer thoughtfulness over me being literate. There's something wrong with you. I don't mind your lack of reading if you're a pleasant person. Being pleasant? It's not easy to see, but I stand by it. Bang. Sweet. And we also need to give you fucking, like, a gift again. What would you even like? I guess that. Stop calling me Bobby. You were giving it to me anyway. Don't just assume that. You mean you didn't buy me a present? Oh, I did, but gimme! He's right out of my hands. Oh, that went all the way down. Sweet, and then Dallas can go and, I don't know. He's angry anyway. He probably works better with stress. You need to put music, I'm still doing writing, your writing is 86, and you need to work on music, because holy shit, it's poor. Come on, get me a new song, Robin. Fuck, we all won off, you're shitting me. What's there new to talk about? Being sleepy. We are not talking to him about being sleepy. I actually like this new camera position. Now, now you guys can see like this bit up here. I like that a bit better. Uh, right, what are we doing? We need one writing. And it's going to be a fucking good song, because it's Robin, right? We can also record a song. I swear this song isn't about you. And this will go into a higher class song as well. Why does it cost us money? <sighs> Whatever. Apparently this costs us money, and I couldn't tell you why, because I thought that's what, you know, they were covering. Apparently not, though. <laughs> Apparently we have, like, a record deal because YOLO. <laughs> what utter bullshit. Come on, what's the quality like? Three stars. Not terrible, I guess. Alright, let's write another song. You can do it for one. Also, stress should be better now, right? They were doing stuff all week, and they didn't really get anything. Come on, write me a song! Oh, fuck you. It was one off. <sighs> Feels bad, man. All right, whatever. Shopping center. Why are there still only two things? It's been enough. Yeah, all right. So we're still renting there, and we don't want to do anything from here because everything's too expensive. Bad meeting, there's nothing new, so we just manage beating, I guess. Writing, music, S you need star quality, do you? I do want star quality. Oh, look at that. That, to me, looks like it's a good fucking song. That's a four star. -er. Her writing went up quite quickly. I guess now because it's so high, it doesn't actually matter. Right, let's play a gig. I want to make that an instant classic. Actually, no, I want to record it and then make it an instant classic. Uh, record song, song list, this one. Hire producer as well. Four and a half stars. Bang, from downtown. And then we'll play a gig with that one. I want to play that every night. Right. I think this means it will be an instant classic. So we've only got three. Now we just need to not fuck this up. Uh, Shit. Fuck! Oh, we didn't do too well. We didn't do too well, lads. Oh, whatever, come on, just tell me it's an instant classic. Explosive as fuck. Oh shit, we got a lot of money. We got 3,817. How? So CD sales. Holy fuck. Hang on, let me put that... Oh god, no. That's the wrong one to move, that one. 
So they take 95% of our CD sales. Holy shit, that's a lot. We got $17. Woo! <laughs> Alright, well, they are giving us five grand a month. And we're also renting. So we don't actually need to play any gigs for now. Not for now, anyway. Dank. Okay, I like that a lot. I like that very, very much. Put that back over there. So they give us five grand. Woo! His stress has barely gone up at all. Is he fucking living with us or something? Whatever. You keep practicing your music. Uh, you keep writing. Uh, you keep writing because it's really high. Uh, you uh, no, you go to star quality. Come on. Our writing is going so much up with Robin. Right, what else do we need to do? I don't think there's much else we need to do. We just need to release an album, right? So you've done all of these. Just out of principle, I want the album to be like 12 songs. Am I just going to settle for 10 anyway? <laughs> I'm just going to settle for 10 anyway, aren't I? <laughs> for fuck's sake. Uh, we do no, I it can't be 8 songs. 8 songs is taking the piss. It's not even that long. I mean, look. He's like so close. Ah, right, yeah, we, we we can leave him. Uh, you still uh, no, you can relax. Oh my god, you can relax too. All right, maybe it's gonna be a little longer than I thought. Write me a song, Robin. Oh yeah, that was the weekend. Eh, whatever. Shop. Yeah, there's more things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweet. We just bought all of the cheap shit. Managed band. Who has a lot of stress? Dallas has a lot of stress. Nah, I don't care about Dallas too much. Uh, you can take a break this week, actually. You can take a break this week. You can work on your star quality. Nah, you can work on writing on a few more songs. Give me a song, Robin! Give me a song! Come on, give me a song! <sighs> I best we better, like, you know, occasionally play a fucking thing. Uh, let's change that out for... That one. Just because YOLO, you know? We don't have enough songs that we can have a constant, like, revolving lineup, right? Uh, we haven't got her yet, but we did see you there. We did see you. Th no, we didn't. I lied. Oh, this is so bad! Nah, this is awful. I completely lost where everything was that game. Minus 15. There's a huge storm, so there was hardly any crowd. Minus 75% crash. Woo! Woo! Man, I don't know whether that one's difficult or quicker or something, but it feels a lot quicker. That or I just fucked it completely. I don't know what one it was. Okay, so your guys' stress are, like, fucking brilliant. Uh, I want you to keep writing. Because your writing is decent. I want you to get writing as well. And I want you to work on your music. He's just so pitiful! Alright, come on. Three stars. Is it murder if they had it coming? Yes. Watch the film Chicago. Um, <laughs> you'll get in trouble for saying that shit. Right, let's see if we can get one more song in. You really need to work on your music. It is boring and awful. Let's see if we can get, like, one out of you two this week. And then you keep working on your music. Okay. Didn't get one. Whatever. We'll just do it like this. That's nine songs. That's good enough. Uh, record song. I'm not going to hire a producer. Just the last one looked good enough that I really wanted it to be a really good song. So I'm hoping this one will sort of increase to like four stars. Dallas is ever looking apathetic as fuck. Have you guys even ever seen? There you go. That's what he looks like. He's not, I mean, particularly enamoring, but you know, whatever. Three, four quarter stars? That's not too bad, I guess. Right, let's get an album. We can only do seven songs. Fragrantly taking the piss. Alright, let's just put our best songs on there. War, Chocolate Hearts. Terrible name. Uh, this one's three stars. This one's three stars. This one is three stars. That one is one of the best. And that one. So Kick-Ass Time is basically just, you know, whatever. Right, we can also change shit. Can we make this as ridiculous as possible? 
What's something that should look shit? They all look... That's horrendous. That's awful. Shit, I've been doing this episode for half an hour. <laughs> I'm enjoying this game too much, damn it! Ah, oh, it's accidentally become, like, a very long episode. Hang on, we just want, like, the worst one here. That's quite bad. <gasps> That's horrendous! Oh, it has to be that one. Oh, and make it not fit with the colour palette. I want, like... Oh, what's the worst colour we can do? Nah, these are a little too... Decent. Mixed colours sort of defeats that. Oh, that one! Bang! There we go! Oh, perfect! And yeah, we're calling it war, apparently. Bang! Do I care about doing... No, I don't want to fucking market shit. That's what I've got a record company for. Maybe that one. Alright, maybe that one too. We've released an album! Next episode, you can see what Dominic thinks of it and whether we're going to get in trouble for, I don't know, calling it war. That's, that's quite big, isn't it? Maybe let's not call it war.